Hey guys, welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In this one, I will show you guys from start to finish my steps on creating proper lighting after finishing a scene, give it that final look. So in this one, I want to give it some sunlight, preferably a sunset type of vibe. So let's go ahead and get started. First, in the sample tab, in, in the under um, when you hit render, you'll see sample. And the three bars right here, you want to have these three things on. Oops, not pixelated. Okay. You want to have those on so you could see basically a nicer version of what you have here. This just adds like better shadows and if you put clouds or something, it makes it look nicer. Let's go ahead and add some artificial light mimicking the sunlight for this window. Okay, after creating the color for the light you want, go ahead and alt right, alt left click on the um, color that you want to create an emission on. Over on the right, emit, set the emission. And then right now you can see it looks pretty good. But one thing that you can do is turn on bloom and that gives it more of a sunlight type of feel. And you can always adjust the settings in here. Want it to have higher or lower. In this case, I want it higher because it's closer to sunset. If you mess with the size, be careful because if you turn it all the way to the max, you can see it looks very unrealistic. So you just want to get the sweet spot. And you can play with the exposure and vignette settings if you want the zoom effect. And if you find a proper camera angle you want to set that to, that you can always go back to, you press 7 on the keyboard. Then that if you move the camera to let's say here, you can just press 8 and it'll bring you back to the safe camera position. Let's go ahead and change this background here. We wanted to change it to something else. Maybe have light coming from above and hitting down. Go ahead and change the world lighting settings. And right now I'm literally just playing with the settings. I don't really know what works and what doesn't. I'm literally just messing around and seeing whatever in this image looks nice. Because I'm going for the sunset type of glow, I want to have colors focused on orange-ish red. Also I picked this color because a little bit of, um, if you look this color up, complementary colors will probably be somewhere close to blue. Orange and blue look nice together. And you can always just look it up on the color wheel, but let's say you have, you wanted to choose a color like that. You can go over to, where is it? This right here, the hex, you can just copy, control C, and then you can go into, say, the color wheel by Adobe, and you can put that in, and you can choose complementary colors, and you can just literally copy and paste whatever hex they have there and put it into Magical Box. So. Maybe we don't need this because it's casting a shadow. I'll just have that like that. All 
right, I think I'm happy with that. And there you go. There is my method of, this is just one example of lighting that I like to do with Magic of Voxel. Obviously every scene is different. You really want to know what scene you're going for. In this case, I wanted a uh, bedroom in the sunset type of setting. So that's these settings are what I went with. Hopefully this video helps. There's more videos to come and have fun in Magic of Voxel.